In the previous video, we saw how to create a page on a WordPress website. This is, by the way, an eight-part series. And from this, you can learn basic customization of any WordPress website. In this video, we will see how to install a plugin on a WordPress website. We will see two methods of it. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. Plugins are basically software that you can install on your website and increase the functionality of the website. And there is a huge collection of plugins in the WordPress repository. So for the first method, we will go to the plugins and click on add new. And you will land on this page. You can filter the plugins from here. You can also search here. Then, all you have to do is click install now. We are installing an SEO plugin here, called Yoast SEO. Then, click activate. That's it. And, you will find your plugin under the installed plugin list. Now, for the next method, we are going to upload a plugin zip file. Generally, premium plugins come in zip format. So, for this, go to Plugins, Add New. Here, we will click the Upload plugin. Choose the zip file from your PC. We are installing Contact Form 7. Click Install. We are going to use it in the next video for creating a contact form. Now activate the plugin. And, you will see this one too, in the installed plugin list. There is another method, that you can use to install the plugin. Instead of uploading the zip file from the admin panel, you can put the plugin folder directly into the directory. Here I am showing how you can do it in your local host. First, unzip the plugin file here. We are now installing an email management plugin, MailChimp. Now copy this folder. Now go to your C drive and follow the path. And, in this plugin folder, paste copy plugin folder. Now, if you reload the admin page, you will find your plugin here in the installed plugin list. All you have to do is, activate the plugin. So, there you go. With these methods, you can install any plugin you want on your WordPress website. If you have anything to ask, please comment and also like and share this video. In the next video, we will learn how to create a contact page. So, I hope you already clicked the bell icon for that. And, I will see you in the next video.